Ginger Mage. And today we're finally doing Mini Machines again, because I like this series. Um, no, I completely forgot Carpenter's Lovers. Oh. So, as you can see, this lava tank is quite full. Um, so we're gonna do something about that, because we're not actually using a lot of lava, because this thing still can't keep up, because of the conduits it's using. So we're gonna upgrade that, make it a little less compact, but, eh, it'll be fine. And then we're and we're gonna upgrade this. First, we're going to upgrade this and make it better. So, um, we grab the dense cable. Uh, we already have the steel, uh, or iron. Oh, that is a thing. Wait. That's not the biggest though. <laughs> We're gonna grab this. And yeah. I think that is about it. Oh, no, we want Tesseracts. Okay. Good. Now I'm gonna break open this top piece and Oh, there goes an interface. Smart cable. Okay, it's using a controller. Cover. Okay. Yes, we are using a controller here. And only one, four channels on here. Okay. So here's the current drive. Um. However, there's these. I don't think we need these, but. Oh well. Alright, do I want this? Are there any useful stuff in here? Actually, we'll just go like this. And. Jelly ball. Okay, bucket of milk we don't need. Uh, wood we don't need. Yeah, this is all stuff we don't really need. Okay. And pop that, that. And there we go. Okay, so now for two things. First thing is this. Uh, I'm gonna pop it just right here. Use five cameras. Okay. So, I'm gonna pop ten of those in. And there we have liquid storage. And then we're going to pop two more terminals and turn. <clears throat> Sorry, we're going to put on liquid missing channel. Do I need to rewire this? Yeah, device online. A bunch of other stuff is lit up. Oh, because it's daytime. Okay. 
cover. Um, so, hmm. where, where is the silly thing? Aluminum. Here's iron. Okay. Need this or this to connect or this. Okay, we don't need this to connect either. There we go. So there is our first thing, okay. and then the next thing. Use the interface terminal. Alright. And then we'll just go over like that. And now we have the upgrade. But we don't. Because now we have to place a tesseract, smart cable, an X. No, an import. Import fluid import bus. This is going to be lava tank set to receive all. Oh no, yeah, because we just put them up in here. So this should start filling up, yes. And then right here, we'll have an export bus, and put it here, into lava, and send them. And this fluid export will be lava. So you just need a bucket and filter. So only export lava, and then this will only export import lava. Okay, so yes, now we have lava forever. Um, we still have some room to expand this, but I don't have any ideas. So we're just gonna put the roof back on. And now we have lava. Um, pretty much infinitely. We have for the patterns. Um, we have a pattern terminal. So if we just grab some blank patterns, pop them in here. And pop this in here. Now we can craft wood planks if we ever want to. Alright, so that's the first step we've done. So we're just going to put our stuff that we don't need in here. Alright, so. Next up, 
we need this and this. Okay. Next up, we're going to upgrade this. Okay, we already upgraded this. Ah, oh, wait, was it always like this? Ah. Oh. Maybe we upgraded it later. Maybe that was in a different world where I used Ender IO stuff. Alright. Are we producing or losing power? I think we're producing power, but not enough, so we're gonna make something better. I have a. I did a bunch of testing, and these 64 gems are better than magmatic dynamos. Cryo stabilized on the bottom. Right, so this will transfer infinite energy. Right, power in. And block, block, send. Right, and then this will be lava. Now my question, is the middle one getting? Yes it is. But all of these will burn lava infinitely. And we're gonna make it an interesting shape. And pop down some of these. If only these didn't require bedrockium. But, oh wow. But, that will just use up some lava passively, because I want to. And we can always use more power, because eventually. I know the storage cube powers itself, and hopefully, so it powers itself. Well, let's hope that engine never explodes, and then let's also hope that we don't have to worry about it ever using too much power. Let's quickly check on this, because I'm kind of. Okay, so this uses power. So it just uses from then. Okay. Let's see how fast this thing runs up then. So it's at currently max. And okay, so it doesn't really have to run out. So what is this? Output input, yeah. And of course, we're making it a lot more now. 400 million, okay. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!